Hi everyone, Lucy, and today I'm going to bring you guys our first impressions of a game called Subsistence. This game was uh, actually green lighted a few days ago on Steam, and a friend of mine, Bryce Sci-Fi, if you don't know about him already, he makes a lot of videos similar to mine on survival games and stuff. Check him out. He gave me a key to this game. Uh, this game is being solo dev by just one person, so keep that in mind. Obviously, it's early alpha, blah blah blah, all that kind of shit. But I thought I'd show you guys this game because it's a bit different. It focuses more so on single player survival than multiplayer survival. Both of us are going to be a thing. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and shoot this thing quickly for shit and giggles. It's level 3, so I don't know how easy this is going to be, but I guess I'll find out right now. So I'll just shoot it in the head with a pistol. And then we'll talk about. Oh shit, I don't want any ammo now, actually. Um, 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 reload. Okay, it's dead. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Am I going to die? I don't know if I'm going to die or not. I don't actually know how to even open up my inventory. G. Right click. Bandage yourself. Okay. Holy shit. I'm not dead. Anyway. Like I said, the game focuses on single player survival. Which is something unique, I think, in a game like this. Or in this genre of game, survival. Um, we've got a leveling system for NPCs. So, it's, um... I guess that's what's going to be the real threat. Especially in single player survival. Defending yourself and finding or building yourself a base which will allow you to survive against all of these wonderful high level enemies throughout the world. You can find a bunch of different animals, bears, panthers, whatever the fuck that thing was over there. I think that's a panther. And uh, that's pretty much it. Obviously the game has all of the basic things the survival game does have. And it just seems like a pretty decent game considering it's made by just one person. It's an Unreal Engine 4 so it runs really good, it looks really fucking pretty. Um, and it does of course have... Like I just said, all the things that you could, you've came to expect in a style game. Crafting systems, medical systems, inventory systems, and all that kind of stuff. There's also a bunch of things in the bottom right that I've got no idea what they mean. Proteins, fruit and veg, hydration, hunger, strength, health. There's a lot of stuff. I don't really know when this game is going to be ca coming out on um, Steam. What the fuck is this right here? We're going to unlock this as well. Let's have a look. I guess it's just a random supply drops you find through the world. So we've got some ammo casings and some gunpowder, which I'm guessing we're going to craft into... Um, I think we're gonna make some shotgun shells. Yeah, we can make like one of those, I think. So let's go make that quickly. I guess we can close that while we're doing it. Yeah, we can. Um, but yeah, I've got no idea what the fuck I was just saying anymore because I'm really good at making videos. Either way, I'm gonna chop this tree down a bit, get some wood, and then we're gonna do stuff. I don't really know what because there isn't that much stuff in the game right now. Oh yeah, I said I don't know when it's gonna be coming out on Steam. I've got no idea when it's gonna be coming out on Steam, but if you guys do wanna support it, then check out the links in the description below for the green light page and give the developer feedback. We are updating it semi regularly. I am, of course, on Steam right now. Looks like this one's out of wood. Oh, I was going to say what the fuck was that sound, but now I know it was a shotgun shell. So, we've got ourselves an extra shotgun shell. Wow. 10 out of 10. Game of the year. So, we can split things. We can combine things. We can eat things. And this will impact our fruit and veg meter. I don't know why I've got a fruit and veg meter, but whatever. I don't know if the world's procedurally generated, to be honest. I don't really know that much about the game. So, I could just wander around and see what it's like. I mean, the world doesn't seem too bad. If you com if compared to a game like, I don't know, Survivor Nights... Not that Survivor Nights is shit, but I know I hyped up that game for the longest time. It's one of my most popular videos on my channel, the Survivor Nights First Impressions. And when that first came out, it was like, what the fuck is this? But this game, considering it's, like I said, made by one dude, it does seem pretty decent. Um, save game to save game one dot sav. So, you can just come hop on whenever you want and do your little survival things on this game. I don't know if I'm going to die today. I mean, this is single player, of course, I'm playing on right now. So, there's not going to be that many threats other than animals, so it's not like someone's going to jump out of nowhere and completely uh, gnaw off my face. We can make some 9mm uh, ammo, 9mm ammo as well. That's actually really fucking expensive. But either way, let's um, see what we've got in terms of uh, actual base building. So we've got a base command unit, wooden planks, campfire, blah blah blah. We need um, sticks for that, which I guess we just break down somehow. And all the things like the, the weapons and whatnot, obviously those would normally cost stuff to craft. Um, but on this current build, you just spawn with them, so, eh, seems pretty good. Yeah, so we're gonna make sticks right here, so let's build some sticks. It just seems to take, like, a really fucking long time to craft things, which is kind of annoying. We can also make wooden planks. Um, let's see if we can get ourselves a, uh, wooden foundation, I guess. So you can also change the- oh my god, what the fuck? Yo, there's so much shit. Like, considering this game's so early in develop- oh my god, there's a thing right there, panther. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with the, the base one. You can see you make curved roofs, full roofs. Full roofs, I can't even say the word roof anymore, don't know what happened there. I'll put on some screenshots right now of actual bases. I doubt I'm going to be able to make a base that cool in, uh, obviously, my first impressions. But, you know, if you spend the time, you can make something pretty decent. Let's even kill this thing, then. And go down. Alright, got it. In fact, I know we can also, um, I think you can gut this. Yeah, press F to butcher. 
Okay, so you can butcher animals, and this is a part of the whole style thing. You can hear a beep boop thing, so I just completed making some sticks. So there's a beautiful animation for that, and then from that we get um, some meat and some meat, I guess. I don't know, dead wolf carcass. Let's go ahead and close that. And then we can craft that using our campfire. And now we have some more 9 mm ammo as well. I guess we're going to reload. How many bullets do we have? Like, three? We've got five bullets. Oh my god, a bear. It's a bear. All right, we're going to shoot for SKS. I'm guessing this is an SKS. What is it, actually? Let's have a look. It, it's an SVT-40. Whatever, same shit. World War II era. Oh my god, the bear's dancing. Mum, get the camera. Mum, get the fucking camera. Give me it. Alright, so let's go ahead and butcher this thing as well. See what we'll get from it. We've literally got nothing now. The only thing we've got to defend ourselves is an axe. I mean, it's better than nothing. Maybe. Let's take all of that. So I guess we'll just make ourselves a, a nice little fire. You can also make a splint. A makeshift splint can be used to secure and heal broken limbs. How do I actually make bandages? I've got to wonder. I don't know what that even is. Combined with other items for other uses. Okay, but I don't know what that is. Like, what is it? I've got no idea what it is. We can't make ourselves a campfire. Okay, let's go. Build us up one of these. A blood all over my hands. Not because of a bear. I mean, it is because of a bear. because I opened up the bear and it splurred all over me. Shout out to a bear for being a, a great sport. Thank you, bear. I wish we could just pick him up and just bring him with us. So you can see his paws doing a little dancer. Oh my god. Oh my god. The bear's still alive. Just kidding, he's dead. It was a prank. Okay, so where are we going to put a campfire then, you got to wonder. I, I don't know, I mean... The world is probably one of the weaker points in the game. It is kind of shit. There's not really anything that I see like, Oh yeah, there's a waterfall there and some butterflies. I'm going to place my campfire there. I mean, you know, you can't be too critical on the game. Oh shit, there's a bear right there. I don't want to get too close to that. There's also a box, I think, beside the bear. No, I don't want that. There's a panther there. So, I guess we're going to make our campfire right here. Seems like a great location. Let's go and put it down. And we're going to go put our um, shit in to cook it. Okay. And then we need... Oh, what the fuck was that? Yo, get back here. I just flew out. Stay inside. Good girl. And then we're going to put this in. There we go. Fuel out of the fire. Ignite. Ignition source. Um, ma Matches. Ignite. Oh. oh my god. It's beautiful. So hopefully this meat should give me some HP back. Maybe. And if this bear comes over from right there, or a panther from over there, the panther's coming straight towards us. We might be in a bit of trouble. Maybe. Oh shit, that actually tells you what you'll get from this as well. So we have two steaks, which kills protein, fruit, slash veg, hunger, and hydration. And then we have the raw liver, which will give us the same things. Can be eaten raw, but much better cooked. Well, honestly, if I can eat raw, I'll, I'll eat raw. That's fine. Give us um, some of this back, whatever the fuck this is, hunger. And that should, in time, give us the other thing back. Slightly cooked liver, slightly cooked steak, and slightly cooked steak. Alright, I'll give it a few more. Well, Lion's really nice for it, just because Unreal Engine 4. Imagine nighttime on this game. I mean, you would have seen the screenshots of the bases before, but, well, I'll just say that nighttime on this game does look nice. I want you to say, I think nighttime's gonna look nice. Of course it looks nice. It's Unreal Engine, dude. Runs good, looks good. I wish more games used it. There we go, we've got cooked steak. We don't want to burn it. I do like my medium rare normally, but we don't have a choice to make it medium rare in this game. And there we go, we've done it. Let's go and extinguish that and go somewhere. I don't actually know. Still don't know what all these things are. But, I mean, I'd imagine if we're in the game, there's probably a way to craft them. I just need to find cloth. A bush which just drops cloth somehow. A, a, a cloth bush. Very common in these lands. Speaking of bushes dropping cloth, maybe this will have cloth inside it. These things just seem to be dropped everywhere. Maybe it's just like a, you know, an alpha thing. So I've actually got some shotgun shells right there. But yeah, you can get just fucking casings in the middle of nowhere. Get some 9mm. Do I have enough more shotgun shells? Shotgun does seem to be pretty good. Reload this. There we go. Let's see if we can find some more of those before getting ate by a bear. Oh shit, I found something which isn't ammo. So this is... So we need this for base building. Scrap metal and some... Gunpowder, which kind of is ammo. So a lot of stuff you need for base one. I can't actually find it in... Uh, oh, shit, no, a panther. I can't find it in, in the crafting menus. 
Let me see, like this thing right here, isn't it in the crafting menu? For the scrap metal, uh, that's for a base command unit, which I'm not sure what we use it for. Place will I am for base building. I guess maybe it's uh, it's probably for like the plot pool kind of thing. But yeah, a lot of things where we can't find them, or we can't craft them, we have to find them in the world. So you kind of need to explore and uh, get that stuff for base building. But I think I've pretty much shown everything in the game today. I mean, obviously there's more stuff. Did I see a panther? I think I just heard a panther. Obviously there's more stuff I can show, like base building, um, clothing, and all that kind of stuff. There's a bear right there. But uh, I can't really do that too easily because I don't know how to do it. So I'm just going to wrap it up here. But um, I don't know. I implore you guys to check out the game. I think it is a semi-interesting concept. Oh, there's so much loot there. And there's a massive bear on the hill. It's a semi-interesting concept. Just good single player. You know, it's nice to be able to play a game and just uh, play at your pace. And play it by yourself without having to worry about other people PvPing. That's an interesting concept for some people, in my opinion. Or, I, I like PvP. But uh, for other people who don't like PvP, here you go. It's a game with stuff in it. I don't know. There's blueberries right there we can get. Go and eat those. We go. Oh, shit. Friendly bear. Friendly inferno. Good girl. Good. Oh, shit. And I'll see you guys next time.